A two minute how to speech on any subject you would like. Do Monday. Meet Johnny. Johnny has found himself in quite a pickle. Never in his life has he been required to make any sort of how-to project. Poor Johnny has no idea what he's doing. Hey, hey, I know the basic things. It's a speech on how to do something. Brilliant. <laughs> it's a great start, but we've got a long way to go if you're going to pull off this project. Don't fret. You've got some help for this one. Johnny! God? Even better. This is a step-by-step -step help project, a how-to project in itself, that's going to help you along the way. Are you ready? To begin a speech on how to do something, you need to gather ideas for a topic. Think of things you both like to do and can do. What do you do, Johnny? I take karate classes. Write it down then. And you know what? I help my mommy clean the windows every weekend. Good. Keep writing things down, and we'll come back to you in a bit. Come on, Scrubby, come on. Roll over. Good job, Johnny. You're now ready to start eliminating options. When writing a how-to, you must keep in mind your time restraints. Johnny, yours needs to be two minutes long. Go through everything you wrote and take out things that would take far under two minutes to talk about. Can I talk about blowing my nose for two minutes? Not a chance. What if I talked about a full-length feature film? First, you need to assemble a good crew. You can usually find them in prestigious colleges. And the cameraman's like, oh, guess what? Uh, the lens is kind of broken. And you're like, there's a deposit on this equipment. And he's like, well, you know what? If you don't know my name, then I'm just going to go home to my mommy. And you're like, oh, there are no toaster strudels. There's no toaster strudels. What are you talking about? And Alfred's all like, well, my bad. Yeah, you're bad, Alfred. I told you to get this months ago. And he's like, oh, well, I was sort of going around doing this and that. And then you're like, of course you were but you weren't doing the right this and that that I told you to do. Too long doesn't seem like a very good idea either, Johnny. I see what you're trying to say. Burning a CD might be something I could talk about for two minutes, but talking about the navigation and the twists and turns and the complexities of Reptar Unlimited, the Rugrats video game, probably would take a little bit longer than we need it to be. So I think... I, I think I'll stick with something short. You've got it! We'll get back to you in a bit, then. The next thing one needs to consider, how obvious it may seem, is whether or not you can actually talk about or perform this subject in front of your class. What are you talking about? As an example, earlier, you mentioned that you take karate classes. Could you get up and try to talk about it and maybe show off a move? Yeah, I can do a pretty mean roundhouse kick. Oh, God! Oh! <laughs> oh. oh! No, no I can't. That's what I mean. If you can't do it, or if you're just not comfortable doing it in front of others, then you obviously can't use that for the subject of your speech. Get it? Got it. Good. Now do you think you've got your options narrowed down enough? I think so. And I've concluded that I can't do anything except make a sandwich. That sounds like a great idea. Now, though, comes the part where you have to find an angle. How are you going to make your speech exciting? With facial expressions and demonstrations. Now you're getting it. Try practicing in a mirror to be sure that you've got it right. So then you have a choice of deli meats, 
deli meats, defined as meats you get at a deli. You can put them I in think the Johnny will be fine from this point. Let's fast forward a bit to see how we did. And that is how you make a sandwich. This is Spanish 4. You just did an entire presentation in English. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Johnny, we forgot about the most important rule of all. Make sure that all specific requirements of the assignment are fulfilled before writing or even planning your speech. Only then can you have a successful outcome. <laughs>